Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So I know this looks a bit goofy because um, my head is cut off. I was trying to explain what I was doing but uh, didn't really get it in the shot. So I'll take this time to say this portrait painting was a huge breakthrough for me. So you're gonna want to stick around to see part one and part two. I'm gonna be doing the first step which is drawing this sketch on this piece of masonry. So I'm working with a water-soluble graphite pencil just to get the preliminary sketch down. And I noticed that the proportions for the head was completely off. So the good thing about using acrylics is that I'm going to be covering up the sketch anyway. So if I find that I made a mistake, I can always correct it in the stage when I add my paints. One of the advantages of using a water-soluble graphite pencil that you can use water to blend in your shadows. Now, again, I'm gonna be covering up the sketch anyway with acrylic paint. It does add a little bit of an element, but for the most part, I'm going to be covering the sketch up. Just a word of advice, if you do wanna use a water-soluble graphite pencil, just make sure um, once you've blended your pencil, you want to spray it with workable fixative. That way, if you do want to use water or inks like I'm doing right now, your sketch won't smear. So one thing I can say about this painting is that as complicated as it is, it flowed so, so much easier than most of my paintings. Once I got the hang of leaving my brush strokes and just being comfortable with the marks that I made and allowing myself space to just flow, it became so much easier. So a major change that I did for this piece was to use filbert brushes, specifically large filbert brushes. As you can see in this part, in this stage of the game, I'm using a bigger filbert brush. When you start out with larger brushes, it forces you to flow. It allows you to loosen up. I notice when I use smaller brushes, it makes me tighten up. I also used a variety of different shades, different colors, um, colors that you may not even think would be in someone's face. That started to help me with my confidence in painting these expressive brush strokes and the expressive colors that you're seeing in this painting. This painting was a huge, huge breakthrough. I know that a lot of you were hoping to see the rest of this video and how I created this piece, but rest assured there is a part two coming and it should be coming very soon. Now, the video was a little too long because there was a lot of layering and there were a lot of steps. So to save you the pain of having to go through a really, really long video, I cut it into two parts. So if you want to see part two, my suggestion is subscribe and you can receive notifications on more videos that I put out. As you can see, there are more paintings to come. Thanks for sticking around and I'll catch you next time. <laughs>